Welcome back guys. Now as somebody pointed out, um, considering this whole uh, dorm style uh, prison, uh, things are pretty good at the moment. Look at this, right? We've been running for a little while now and uh, things are generally good. Uh, food is good, sleep is good, bowels and bladder. Um, safety is excellent now because of the segregation. Uh, hygiene's okay, exercise is good even with the small yards, recreation is good even with the little common rooms, environment is good, uh, privacy, we know that that's bad. Oh, by the way, somebody asked me to um, uh, explain the colours, which I'll do in a second. Um, freedom is kind of okay, clothing isn't so good, but that's because we don't have a laundry yet. We're going to do something about that. Drugs and alcohol is a bit of a problem. Well, we're going to address that with the dogs. And uh, spirituality and literacy will get to that eventually. Now, these uh, these colours, pretty straightforward. Uh, green means that they're, they're, ha they're happy. Uh, medium is kind of, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I can deal with it. High is starting to get, yeah, I'm a bit upset about this. And uh, red is like, this is really pissing me off I'm gonna rip somebody's head off okay so as you can see like pretty pretty much we're comfortable at the moment everybody's um like most people are kind of okay one or two people getting a little bit upset but generally okay right dogs row, 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 row. <laughs> let's do that row, 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 row. oh wonderful uh doggies right doggies well doggies are pretty straightforward let's go to objects uh, act, no, let's go to rooms. Let's go to rooms. So we're going to... Now, where's dog kennel? Where's dog kennel? Um, I don't know. Where, here's kennel. Look, it's the one with a little doggy face on. Oh, cute. Right, let's put a doggy kennel in. Five by six. Kennel. What do we need? We need dog crates. Okay. So we need at least one dog crate. Now, basically, you, each dog crate allows a dog to rest. Right? So... Um, what are we going to put in? Where's, uh... Oh, go to objects, you bonehead. Here's dog crate. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, I can get rid of this. So, you know what? We could have... we could. I mean, we could have loads of these if we wanted to. I don't think... Um, I don't think we need to go crazy at the moment. Now, which way round should these be? Uh, you know, I actually don't know which way round they should be. We're going to stop these people coming in this way. In a second. I'm thinking, yeah, let's put, let's put like, let's put like three crates in for now, right, in this one, okay, so um, we, we, I think we'll probably just start with, with one for now, and we'll kind of like get to it, so, right, uh, what do I want to do next, what I want to do next is stop these people coming in this way, right, so let's go to um, deployment, and uh, how are we going to do this? Uh, this has got no access. We'll have to do something about that at some point. Right, this corridor here, right? We can make this... Oh, I've got a guard patrolling that. I don't want a guard patrolling that. I want to make this staff only, right? So this is staff only. This is going to be staff only, right? And then uh, what about down here? Now, this whole area down here should be staff only as well. Let's make that staff only as well. Right, cool. And this staff room, that's staff only. Uh, the rest of the places I don't mind if they go to. So that's cool. All right, cool. So we've got some, we've got some, some doggy kennels going on. So now we can assign some dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what we're going to eventually do is we're going to have dogs patrolling all around the, um, the outside. But uh, we're not going to do that just yet. Because what I want to do, uh, I'm looking for staff. Here we go, staff. Where's dogs? Row, row. Where's dogs? Uh, dog handler. Here we go. Right. These are 500 each, these guys. But we've got we've got a fair amount of cash. Right, where am I going to put these guys? Um, you know what? We kind of want some doors maybe around here. Would be possibly a good idea. So that our dog handlers can get around uh, yeah, you know what I'm gonna put those in first before I do anything else I'm gonna put a couple of jail doors in like, so that we can get outside there we go right so what was I doing oh doggies 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 dog handler 
Uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have a dog handler in here. Right. So that's the first guy. And he's going to just like wander off all over the place. Well, I'm going to deploy uh, him in here. And you can like... You can wander around this area. So that when we bring new prisoners in... There we go. So that when we bring um, new prisoners in... Oh, what am I doing? There we go. So we assign a dog to this patrol. When we bring new prisoners in and they're being searched, we'll have a dog going around here, having a good sniff around, and hopefully he'll find anything that's been brought in. And that will also work for um, if people are coming in and out of visitation. That would work. Now, talking of visitation, um, hang on, am I going to do another dog patrol? I think I'm going to do another dog patrol. I think I'm going to have a dog patrol that goes from here uh, oh it can't go what it can't go through th oh it's going through a wall you idiot I think we'll have it going from here all the way through to here well and we'll assign a doggy to that right cool so now I need uh, to actually like put a dog in so staff uh, dog handler let's put another, another dog in there we go right so this guy is gonna like wander up and down here and the um, the dog is gonna have a, a good old sniff of anybody who's around you know what let's have a look at that patrol because I might get him to do I don't know I might get him to do more of a loop that might be a good idea. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So hang on. Let's have a look at the um, the deployment and dog patrols. So, you know, instead of going up to here, let's take that out. Let's get him to come across to, like, uh, where do I want him to? I want him to there, don't I? To there. And then he can come all the way up here. So that means we're going to be increasing our whole sniffing opportunities there we go right he's got a long old patrol hasn't he now poor dog's gonna be working blooming hard right we should put in um, a spare dog so let's go to staff and let's have a dog handler and we'll put in a, a spare dog there you go dog And one of the things that you'll notice is that th th these leads do get pretty long sometimes. <laughs> they like stretch over like the whole map because the the dog's waiting to get through doors and things like that. But uh, but the dog catches up eventually. Come on, dog. See, so the dog can open staff doors. I'm impressed with that. That's one impressive dog. See, he's going off to the kennels. He's going to have a rest. See, now these people are being let through here, right? And they're still going to come through this way. So whoever it was that suggested that I make this staff only, and that'll stop the visitors coming in that way. Eh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Apparently visitors can come in any way the, the hell they want. Um, right, one more little security thing we're going to add. Now, when they get brought into the prison, they have to go through these two metal detectors here. But they can still like go into offices and visitation and the infirmary and get stuff there, right? And then bring it back to their cells. So what we want to do is we want to put a couple of metal detectors in here. So let's go to objects and uh, where are we? Metal detectors, metal detectors. Where the hell are metal detectors? I can never find the damn things. Metal detectors. Come on, how hard can it be? I don't think they're on there actually. Metal detector. Dog crate. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to use the search. Here we go, metal detector. Boom. So we'll put a couple of metal detectors in here. Boom. Boom. There we go. Right, so now... Um, let's just get rid of that. Uh, now they've got to come through metal detectors to go back to their cells. So that's, um, that's another opportunity for us to stop contraband. And stopping contraband is kind of all, you know, what it's all about. Um, now our doggies are going to be patrolling around here. They're going to be patrolling up and down this. Oh here, oh 
No, that's just a guard. Where's the other doggy? I want, I want to kind of watch the doggy and see if he actually, like, sniffs something out. Would be kind of nice. And also, having him walking up and down here, like, if they're starting to tunnel, we've got an opportunity to, um, to spot where they're tunneling. Which is also good. Uh, I can't even see where that blooming dog is. Oh, here's one. That, well, that's the one that's wandering around there. Where's the other one? Can't see the darn thing. Let me. Let's go and have a look at the kennels because if um, ah look, look, the two doggies are tired. Right, we need another one because you need probably like two dogs for every job because um, they get tired a lot. The dogs, so we'll put another put another doggy in here. There you go. How are we doing? We're doing good on cash. Cash flow is still positive. That's the main thing. But what we um, what we really want to do is um, we want to get some more prisoners in. We've got another ten arriving. See, we can take another twenty prisoners, like comfortably. We've only got three maximum security. We do need to do something about the maximum security prisoners, but it's kind of not like desperate. I don't even know where the maximum security prisoners are. They're probably locked up in solitary. Yep, they're locked up in solitary. See, they're using these as cells because they can't use the cells that are designated for the um, for the medium and the low risk prisoners. Oh, we're putting these doors in. That's good. Right, excellent. I'm really tempted to have another couple of dogs because. I'd like to take a couple of dogs and have a bit of a sniff around the outside just to make sure there's no tunneling going on. And um, we put all the fencing in, didn't we? Yeah, we put all the fencing in, so we've got that going. Now, I could have my... I could start setting up dog patrols and stuff, which might be kind of cool, around the perimeter. But I don't know. See, the thing is... The perimeter is like so huge and our prison at the moment is so small. I don't know. I don't know. What's going on at the moment? Bit of free time, bit of eating. Where's the dog patrol? Don't say he's tired as well. No, nope, there's just two tired ones. So where's the dog patrol then? Let's get rid of this. Let's go back down here. Let's find this blooming dog patrol. Where are you? Oh, the janitors are cleaning, cleaning out solitary. Where's the dog? Still can't see him, you know. Oh, it, oh, there he is, there he is. There's our dog. Oh, the dog's getting tired, though. He's wandering around, he's checking stuff out. Right, at this point, I think it would be a good idea, now that we've got our, our, our stuff in place to, to kind of detect new contraband, this might be the time to check out the contraband and do a shakedown. Right, you know what? We're going to do it because our danger is very, very low at the moment. Um, you know, people are generally kind of happy. So I think now is a good time to have uh, a shakedown. Now, what this is going to mean is that we're going to have a, a search of, like, the entire prison. And we should uncover any, uh, any stuff that shouldn't be around. Or, no, that's what we hope. So, you know what? We're going to do it. What time is it? Nine o'clock at night. What are they doing? Free time and eating. I might wait. You know what? Let's speed this up. I might wait until they've finished eating. I think that might be a good plan. Then we're going to have a shakedown. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Come on, guys. That, oh, let's, let's speed this up even more. Come on. God, dear, you do take your time with your eating, don't you? They can use... Look, they're using the phones and stuff. Uh, have we got intelligence yet? Mm. Not yet. We need to do some more research. Right, so now everybody's showering. 
okay? So that's, be that's just before bedtime. So we're gonna have a shakedown now. So click on that. Oh, and now, oh, let's speed this up. There are 207 places that they need to search in the prison, okay? Like all of these things are going to be searched. The toilets are going to be searched. That'll uncover any um, any tunnels. Uh, they're going to search the beds. To uncover any any stuff that's been hidden in there. So we've got a needle for drugs. We've got some cigarettes. You know, I've got to say this kind of suggests that uh, my prison has been pretty damn good. Okay, we've got one fork. Because normally you do a shakedown, you'd find a hell of a lot more than this. We've got one shank. Yet there's not a whole hell of a lot. Yeah, this is pretty damn good, actually, guys. This is pretty damn good. But you can see up here that the danger level is increasing. Oh, we've got our first exclamation mark, right? Um, because the prison, if we go to needs... We should find that, um, like, freedom. No, no, actually, freedom, they're not really that upset. Uh, no, <laughs> they're taking it pretty well, to be honest. It's not upsetting them that much. We've almost finished the search, and that's all that we've found. That's pretty damn good, guys. I'm really, really pleased with that. All right. We've got... Um, We've got plenty of solitary cells. Oh, oh, McNamara has been put into solitary. Probably because um, one of these things was found on him. Oh, Roach has been put in as well. Oh, oh, we found something else. What's this? Uh, oh, poison. Oh, we found some poison. But that's like nothing, to be honest. A couple of packs of cigs, poison, needle, fork, and one shank. Very, very happy about that. Oh, that's not good. Come on, guys. That needs to get... Oh, there you go. It's been moved. Or has it been moved? No, we just can't see it. It'd be nice if we could see that in actual fact actually get it moved. Two more places to search and then our shakedown will be complete. And look, already the danger is going down. The, the prisoners have not been too disturbed by um, us doing a shakedown. So we'll have got a hell of a lot of stuff, um, like percentage wise, we'll have got a hell of a lot of stuff out of the prison. Oh, right, there you go. He's moving that now, that's good. So there, yeah, I've got to say, things things pretty good at the moment pretty good all right okay well you know what we should get on with like, like kind of building something um you know what let's get our workers doing something shall we um i'm gonna fill this area in i have no idea what i'm gonna do with it but it kind of makes sense to fill that area in let's fill that area in. and we've got an area here as well I'm going to fill that area in as well. And am I going to do the same down here? Now, that's a very, very good question. Um, you know, I think I am. I think I am. I'm just going to fill this in. So let's fill that in. Fill that in there. There we go. Cool. All right. Uh, we, need, um, we need some access to this in some way, shape, or form. So I think we're going to have... Uh, we had a door here didn't we? Oh, now, hang on, yeah, 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 because that's, where's the door? Oh, the door is right by the sinks, so, okay, we'll put a door in, so, where are we, objects, and we'll put a door, uh, was, it, was it a jail door, or was it a staff door? It was a staff door, wasn't it? Yeah, just a staff door, and then there's a jail door on the outside, yeah, that's okay, so we'll take a, a staff door, we'll put that, uh, there, spin it round, so we can get in there now. Do I put a door like over here? Uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, though. 
Um, yeah, I, I've, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm going to kind of wait, I think, and, and kind of see. Now, this one up here, do we have any access to this? Uh, no, there's no access to that at the moment. Let's put a door in for this. Uh, up here, I think. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put a door in, just just like just so the builders can get in. Like I could put one here as well, but again, like what the hell are we going to do in here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Now I still haven't done the laundry, and I've got to say the laundry for me is kind of um, a lower priority. It's not like staggeringly low priority, but it is a lower priority. I'm just wondering about the next intake, which is coming in in four hours. I'm really tempted to bump it up a bit, you know, and kind of like stress the prison a little bit. I've got to say, it's very, very tempting. Uh, you know what? Let's put, let's pause this for a second and let's have a look at what what like what else can we put in? What else can we put in that would be cool? We've um, because we've got this corridor running along here, so we can put in like a whole bunch of stuff. We, um, you know, what? I'm really tempted to put like a couple of laundries in just just down here. I might just do that. How do, how big does a laundry have to be? Where's laundry? Here's law. Uh, that's library. Where's laundry? Laundry, laundry. Uh, shower, canteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see. I can't see Blum and Laundry. I mean, it's not that big a list, for heaven's sake. Canteen, kitchen, storage, oh, garbage, morgue, security, kennel, cleaning cupboard, forestry, library, staff room, Xbox chapel. <laughs> oh come on. L Laundry. L A. I've I've un Oh, I haven't unlocked. I. Yeah, I haven't unlocked it. Oh, okay. Right, you know what? Let's go to bureaucracy. Um, prison labour. And this. Oh, there you go. Prison labour unlocks the laundry. I, I, I must admit, I don't kind of understand because you don't have to have prisoners working in the, the laundry. So we'll have. Uh, we'll unlock that. What else are we going to have? We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna unlock intelligence. And uh, it's about time we started getting some reform stuff going. So let's also unlock education. Now we've got land expansion, bank loan, tax relief. Um, tax relief isn't worth it for us at the moment. Surveillance. Now surveillance would be potentially a good idea. And it unlocks the phone tap system. Um, but we're already researching uh, intelligence, so I think we'll live with that for now. Uh, okay, so now. So I can't put the laundries in until I've done that bit of research. So, yeah, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, we've got three hours till the next intake. You know what? I'm going to bump up the intake. What the hell? Let's get something done. So let's bump this up to 20 right which um, which kind of max mm, yeah that kind of maxes us out for now so let's do it let's do it let's crank this up so you know what let's speed this up and get the next lot of prisoners coming in that's going to bring us in a whole bunch of oh row, row, row. oh there was some barking then oh look 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 the dog has found what have you found Oh, I don't know. I don't know what he found. The, the dog found something, but I don't know what it was. I'm sure one of you guys will tell me. Right. Our new intake should be coming in, like, very soon. A couple of hours. We, um, we've got our dog patrolling around here. So when the new prisoners get brought in, they'll all get sniffed out. Here we go. We're down to the last two hours. Oh, what's going on? Oh, we can we can turn off the shakedown now. There we go. Uh, we need some armed guards. We need to get the armory going. We'll get that going soon. And we'll get some of these other things going in. Um, it might be... You know, it might be an idea 
to section off these gates and actually have like uh, a dedicated guard uh, opening these. But the alternative is to automate the gates, which might be even better. And we do need to get work workshops going, but that's going to come along when we uh, unlock laundries. I tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to go and check the power. Um, yeah, we're generating a fair amount of power at the moment. But I think what I'm going to do is just, uh, just bang in an extra few capacitors for now. There we go. I mean, subsequently, we need to, we, we do need to kind of segregate the power and stuff to the different parts of the prison, but yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, we're, uh, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? Um, I mean, it's kind of a case of waiting for the, for the, uh, this stuff to get done. Uh, oh, prison labour is now approved. Oh, cool. You know what that means we can do right now? It means we can... Wait till the next episode. Oh, Sky, you swine. Yes, it's another cliffhanger. <laughs> um, so we're going to leave the prison in pretty good shape with, um, with a whole bunch of new prisoners having come in and been sniffed by the doggies. Oh, and they're all going off to, uh, to get their food. We, uh, we do need to extend this canteen to, to deal with those guys now, I think. Um, so yeah, and we'll probably do the same over here. So um, yeah, so when we come back, we're going to be extending the canteens. We're going to be putting in laundries and workshops. Should be fun. Peace out.